This is a liquid nitrogen bulk tank, we call them. Um, and this one in particular, um, we just have a couple of inches of liquid nitrogen in the bottom and the samples are stored in the vapour phase. It's still really cold. We store um, embryos and sperm. We can also store ovaries as well. Take the lid off. So this is just liquid nitrogen vapour that we've got on the top here. Um, to find the samples in here, you need to clear the vapour slightly. And this is just liquid nitrogen being brought in from the tank outside, just to cool everything down. There's a temperature difference between the liquid nitrogen and the air is very big. So in here now, now that I've cleared the vapour that was on the top, I can see my samples. So now I can pull out these samples. So in here we've got little tubes that have a small amount of sperm in there. Um, and they fit in these boxes, so we can fit 100 samples in each box, 5 boxes in each rack. I'll just pop that back in before it gets too warm. Um, and I think in here we've got something like 76 of these racks, so that's a lot of samples. One of the main reasons that we freeze these samples down is that um, all of the mice that uh, have samples in here, they've got lots of different mutations that are all very important for the scientific community. Um, we don't want to be breeding lots of mice that are not required, so we freeze them down if the scientists aren't working on the particular lines anymore. Um, and it's also a lot cheaper to keep the samples in these jewels. It's a few pence a day to keep them stored in liquid nitrogen rather than many pounds per day or week to cover the cost of changing and bedding and diet and people coming in to check the mice every day. So one of our uh, important parts of the job is to um, transport these samples around the world. Um, we prefer to send these samples rather than transporting live mice um, from a welfare point of view, that's much kinder to the mice. Um, there can be scientists all over the world, in America or Japan, Australia, who are interested in the mice with these mutations. We can take the sample out of this jewel and then use something like this, which is called a dry shipper, and we can fill the dry shipper up with liquid nitrogen. The liquid nitrogen um, gets absorbed into polystyrene. These samples then go in here. We've got polystyrene foam that can go on the top to keep the samples nice and cold. The liquid nitrogen that is in here keeps the samples cold enough for about three days transportation, which is more than enough time to get these samples all over the world.